so it wasn't my idea that the kids started learning English. I mean, we had problems in communicating because I don't speak the local dialect, nor do I really speak Hindi. So we had to find a way to communicate. So they started learning English, skateboarding, they learned, you know, it was everything we did was a kind of self-organizing process. And so when one kid was able to do a trick or when one kid succeeded in doing, you know, in cruising on the skateboard, the others would look at them and, and check out and they would simply pass on their learnings. That's, that's how kids learn and we simply gave them the space to do so. What happened to the entire community is the fact that the project pretty quickly became yeah, it became well known in, in India and so what happened whenever the elders went to the next town, people would ask what is going on in Janva, what is going on there? So they started to become proud of what was happening in Janva, you know, the kids you saw in the newspapers. So this entire process, everything which was happening, gave this village a new identity. It created what you would call in the corporate world, it created a corporate culture. So now what the villagers have and what they are pretty proud about is they have an identity. They know, uh, you know, they know what they talk about when they present the project, they are proud of their kids. So it gave them an identity, something which is is cluing them together and this this fact is I think the most important thing we brought into the village that they now have a common sense of what they are good at what they live for and what they are proud of and this is what you need you know that that all of this can be carried on <laughs>